Hi everyone, my name is Ron Pellet and I'm with Activo Extensions and I'm going to show you a short demo on how to use our latest uh, uh, extension which allows you to add Google AdWords conversion tracking uh, seamlessly to your, your order success page. Um, so basically you'll notice that if you go to the professional extensions on our website uh, you'll find the Google AdWords conversion tracking of which you'll be able to buy and download the the extension and once you download you're gonna get a zip file and we're gonna go ahead and upload the contents to my staging environment so we extracted it I'm going to FTP it over now notice that inside you'll find an HTML folder you can either drop the HTML into the HTML or I usually just drop the app into the uh, root folder just like that alright uh, you'll notice that the extension is installed by going to your configuration area and the first thing that I always do is just flush the Magento cache log out log back in <coughs> and then go ahead and uh, go to the uh, configuration under the system menu and you'll notice under Ext Activo extensions you'll notice AdWords conversion tracking this is where you'll set it up initially so to get those details you'll have to actually go to your AdWords account and get the uh, conversion ID conversion label that's all you need to do if you want to get fancy you can do conversion language and background color but you know since we're using the um, we're using a small JavaScript call it it doesn't really require this so I'm gonna show you how to do it log into your AdWords account and look at the top menu look for tools and analysis conversions and by the way this is an AdWords account that is not being used it's only for demo purposes was used before but not being used anymore so if your AdWords is a brand new account and you haven't set this up before then you'll need to click new conversion and I'll show you how to do that if you already have made a, a conversion tracking code then you can go ahead and click on one of the conversions make sure it's a web page type of conversion and then you'll you'll find the pieces of code that you need inside but we'll go ahead and we'll try um, we'll try to add a new one I'm gonna create a new one and it's gonna call it just magento test uh, you can call it anything you want to call it. it it will automatically connect your reports to this one as well so I'm just gonna call it test make sure you're using web page save and continue it's gonna take you to the next tab which is settings uh, conver conversion category leave it at other page security level that's the page where the code is on so typically in a, in a running production environment this should be HTTPS and then conversion value is if you want to um, add a value to it or not but you, you should leave it empty and then you know I usually do don't add th this doesn't really matter it's not gonna affect anything uh, if you use their code it's gonna show the preview but we don't do that uh, so you can just do don't add and then save and continue and it's gonna generate the code and now you have to click on I make changes to the code yourself <clears throat> now you'll get this nifty little JavaScript or HTML code now it doesn't really matter but what you wanna do is you wanna look at these values right here and you want to take the conversion ID just double click copy and paste it and then you want the conversion label which is this part right here and notice that you're using all the text uh, the alphanumeric value that's within the quotes you don't want to copy over the, co the quotes and that's all you need to to copy over this is it so you save it and then we're gonna do a, a demo sale and we'll, I'll show you the underlying code that's being used so I'm gonna add something to my cart I'm gonna proceed to checkout and I'm gonna just for this purposes I'm going to um, 
actually yeah I'm gonna check out as a guest I don't know if I have an account here or not first last um, three four three five whatever Okay, we're gonna just do ship to this address and we save the time from shipping information again. Um, I, th I think I checked before and we're gonna use a uh, money order. And we're gonna place the order. Okay. Now in your store you should see an HTTPS, but for the demo purposes it doesn't matter and we're gonna show you the actual um, the actual HTML that gets embedded and notice that I did view page uh, view source now you'll notice that somewhere in the code you'll notice this this got embedded it has your correct conversion ID and the label that you just entered and we also pass like the value of the transaction that's really what the key here to getting the report in AdWords promptly now one last thing uh, that you need to know and it's written all over Google AdWords is that you have to make sure once this is installed you have to make sure that you add a line somewhere in your privacy policy that you are tracking conversions on the order success page. You just from a legal perspective you have to do it. That's all. Other than that everything is good. You should do done here and once you install it on your site it should, um, after a while, it should show that it's verified. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Best of luck on your e-commerce.